Hey guys, in this video I'm going to build me a trellis, much like my other trellis here, for an Italian squash variety that grows 5 to 6 feet long. Alright, so I found a, a spot in my garden where I want to put the trellis, and it's basically near the back of, the, of my garden, and in the middle. So, uh, let's go start putting our first T-post in. Hey, Taco Bell. <laughs> it's been raining here for like two or three days hard. So this ground is very saturated. Uh, I'm only going to be putting them in about a foot, foot and a half deep. So, I guess I could measure it. Yeah, I got eight feet, or I'm sorry, eight feet. I got 80 inches here that's uh, uh, not quite seven. I'm gonna bring them down a little bit more, about six and a half feet. Let's say about 70, about a couple more inches. Scared you, didn't it, Tobe, huh? <laughs> yeah, that should do it. 78 inches. <sighs> All right, I'm going to finish up the rest of them. I got some cattle panel I'm going to put on the sides and then on the top too. Good enough. All right guys, the next thing I want to do is I got some one inch electrical conduit. And these are 10 foot when you buy them. I cut it to just eight feet across here because my cattle panel is uh, eight, feet, eight feet long. But I cut them eight feet and four inches. So I want two inches per side sticking out. So, Gonna go on something like that. So what I'm gonna do these clamps here. I got them at uh, uh, Arbor Freight. They actually work good. Um, so I would suggest getting them. They're dirt cheap, and for stuff like this or holding your wood projects together, they work good. Of course, some things you don't want to buy there.
And then what I'm gonna do here is get some uh, wire and wire these on, wire the cost, and I got some more going across this way. So this way here is 50 inches, I cut them 54 inches. Again, I want them two, feet, two inches <laughs> uh, per side extra. All right, so I finished up the uh, electrical conduits on top. Uh, you can see I just wired everything up to the uh, T-post. So everything's nice and solid. All the way around. Basically crisscrossed it. All right. Remember, it doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, cattle panels on. Uh, those are eight foot by 50 inches. All right, and in this top section here, I'll just cut what I need to fit in here. All right, now I gotta put the top part on. I can do this. I just got to wire it up. All right, guys, I'm all done. Just a simple trellis using uh, uh, cattle panels. Now, the cattle panel was 50 inches up to here, and the rest was approximately two feet, about 25 inches. Uh, so I cut one cattle panel in half, and I added it here and here. Uh, the top is one cattle panel, so it's eight feet long and 50 inches wide. That's what the cattle panel is. Uh, Everything's wired up here. This, like I said, the variety of uh, squash I'm growing, they grow like five or six feet, if not longer. So there should be enough uh, room here. They're about the size of my arm, but they're very long. Um, also a trellis like this, I mean, you can use this for anything. Pole beans, uh, cucumbers, you know, whatever's viney, you know. So uh, I was gonna do the arch, get the 16 foot uh, cattle panel and make an arch with it. But for what I need it for, there's going to be a lot of weight, and I was afraid that that arch might be, you know, uh, giving a little bit, a little too weak for what I needed. But for pole beans and stuff, that arch type is perfect. Um, and even cucumbers, I would assume. But anyways, let me, uh, let me show you. It's just wired up here. I'll, I'll bring you in close, and I'll show you what I did. All right, so, again, just everything's wired up. Wired up here, here, it's all wired up. And uh, it's not going nowhere. And, uh, and uh, uh, a trellis like this, uh, these are semi-permanent. Uh, you know, they're gonna be, this is gonna be here for years. I'm not moving it. Um, but, you know, a trellis like this too, if you absolutely had to move it, it's not a big deal. You just cut the wires and uh, uh, move it around if you have to. Um, but other than that, uh, it's semi-permanent. It's going to be here for many years. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you uh, learned how to make this type of trellis. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, the next thing I have to do is start planting my Italian squash. They're called Cuguzza. I'm going to put a link to my the Cuguzza I, I was growing here uh, what was it, a year or two ago. I'll put a link here. 
and uh, you'll see how they grow and the variety that I will be growing are much longer than those alright guys uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe and share and I greatly appreciate it thank you